Annie Sabo and Kevin Lynch with you on a Timberwolves fast break. Tonight's game, tough to watch. A Minnesota trailed by as much as 34 to the Houston Rockets. They ultimately fall by 22, 129 to 107. And everything was working from Houston. Their shooting, their three-point shooting, fast break points. Uh, it was just very lopsided tonight. Yeah, their bench was dominant. It just seemed like they were the tougher team. They played with more conviction. They were more aggressive. It seemed like, I thought the Wolves got off to a decent start here. But basically, midway through that first quarter, really through the meat of this ball game all the way to the final buzzer. They dominated, and I would imagine Chris Finch and his coaching staff are going to be talking to their guys. This is unacceptable. I mean, this is a Houston team that's barely won a game in about six weeks, and uh, I tell you what, the Wolves have to put forth better effort than they showed tonight. Towns played well, mm -hmm. but uh, Anthony Edwards uh, scored some points late, but uh, yeah, let's face it, uh, the Rockets dominated this ball game. Uh, in addition to uh, all the categories we talked about, there was a huge, huge Houston advantage on the offensive glass. Ten offensive boards allowed them to score 23 points. Houston led pretty much every category tonight. They shot over 54% from the field. Their bench scoring 49 to Minnesota's 22. And uh, this game, as I mentioned, not close at all. Head coach Chris Finch has more. They just scored easily. And in the NBA, when a team can score that easily, get their juices flowing, and everybody gets into the game. We couldn't contain the ball, and that was the story of all night. We could not contain the ball. The Wolves' upcoming schedule here, they kind of bounce around a little bit. Up next, it is the Brooklyn Nets on Monday. That's a tough one. Then the team back here at Target Center Wednesday to face the Knicks before heading on the road again to face John Morant and the Memphis Grizzlies on Friday. So after an off day, we hope to see you Monday. Our coverage begins at 6 o'clock right here on Fox Sports North.